What's up everybody, this is the 1B, and we're gonna talk a little bit about some Steam charts. Last month, I used this Steam chart here with the blue. I went to look into the Steam chart website to see if they had a 30-day top games. They don't. They only have top games by current players, which is right now. When looking at these, we have to think about a few things. We have to think about what trends have already passed for the month, and what time zone, what time it is in my time zone versus the other time zones, because let's just take a look right now. Now, number 10 is Wallpaper Engine. It's 8.54 a.m. in Pacific Time. I'm on the West Coast. What this leads me to believe is that most people have computer is just sitting at their house while they're at work or they're using it for work and the Wallpaper Engine is playing in the background. I think if you're trying to get the most out of your games, you're probably turning Wallpaper Engine off during gameplay because then you don't have that extra thing trying to run. As you can kind of see here, Wallpaper Engine is here and when I looked last time, Wallpaper Engine was nowhere on the top 25. We can infer some things once we take that out, right? Like we could say, okay, well, Wallpaper Engine isn't really a game. It's an application. People are typically running that when they're not using their computer or when they're doing work. They're not gaming. So number one, we could see right off the bat is Counter-Strike Global Offense, which was at number two when I had looked before. Dota 2 here is at number two. And February was at number four. Elden Ring is at number four here. It was at number three, but you can look at the numbers. Elden Ring was at 619,445. It is now at 352,472. You can see the trending of it kind of dropping off. Its peak player base was 952,523. So there's a couple things that we're going to know here, right? A month ago, this game was fresh, brand new. I have a friend, Starving Writer, who is playing through it, and he is either finished or close to finishing at this point. That's about a month in. You're going to say your super hardcore players, which are going to be like your streamers that are playing 8 to 16 hours a day, those people have already finished the game. Then you have your next set of players, which are playing, let's say, 20 to 40 hours a week. Those people are going to start finishing the game about now. You're also going to have a lot of people that, which we were seeing in the media, was the game was too hard. Those people already bailed. That's for the people that didn't understand what the game was. I don't know why they didn't know that. Maybe they're just newer to gaming. There's going to be a bunch of people that have already bailed. There's going to be people that are finishing the game. There's probably some people that are doing New Game Plus, but like I said, those are going to be like the super hardcore players because they would have already finished the game. The number count, of course, is going to be going down because New Game's especially single player new games, their lifespan is not very long. But by watch, starting to watch these, we're going to see how long that is. You have your staples, Counter-Strike, Dota, PUBG, Apex. Lost Ark is looking like it's going to start being a staple in the charts. And then we have Naraka Blade Point. Now, I don't know what this one is. This is something different. That's something that I'm going to have to look up. Well, it's just a quick Google search here. It was released August 11th. It's a multiplayer video game. Action Adventure Battle Royale. Oh, yes. I do know what this one is. This is like a melee battle royale. Ninjas or Samurais. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't realize that that one was so popular. I don't know if there was some recent activity with that. Looks like maybe a new hero dropped. Looks like there's a new patch actually as well 13 hours ago twitter saying this is what i'm talking about we could go through these things together where we're kind of figuring out why a game is higher on the list than it was previously we know here naraka blade point recently got a new hero and it has an update looks like it has a, a grappling hook and possibly some furry little friends oh it's a flying squirrel grappling hook skin i see anyway there was an update but then we have grand theft auto staple dread hunger i don't know this game either looks like a sailing game through the arctic Dread Hunger. It's this game. And then I'll show you the. What was it? Naraka. Blade Point. My guess is there must have been something to trigger that. Usually you could see under events if there's something that's happened this week. Looks like they had a hot fix. Maybe another hot fix. Maybe that maybe this game is just played at this time during the day. That's all we can kind of infer from this. So next time we'll have to try to pay attention at what time I'm recording. Team Fortress 2. Again, this game is kind of always in the mix. Team Fortress 2 was number nine last time. So with about eight with about 80,000 players. So there's about a 10,000 player difference. MIR4 looks like it's going to be a staple at least in the top 20. It's about 55,000 players, 60,000 players. Destiny 2 wasn't on the list, but recently destiny 2 got a big patch i actually have a friend that plays that shout out to dz for the information on that one they dropped pretty big dlc and they did some fixes i guess and brought some old stuff back that's why destiny 2 is showing up in the charts my guess is that warframe is showing up because of destiny 2 because if you don't have destiny 2 you play warframe anyway so there's warframe Yu-Gi-Oh master duel i believe that showed up in the list yet last time didn't it no i didn't okay so Yu-Gi-Oh master duel is up here doing some work then there's war thunder right 
right down here on 21. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is at 17. So it's at 16. It's actually up right now. And then there's Football Manager 22, which was up at 11. It's now it's down a little bit. Uh, St. Mirrors Civilization 6. That was over here too, I think. Yep, 22. Ark Survivor Evolved. I think Ark was higher on the list, wasn't it? Oh, no, because I was confusing that with Lost Ark. Oh, and it was at higher. It was at 15. Then you got FIFA 22. These are staples, it looks like, right now. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. That's the staple. Unturned. Do we know what Unturned is? I don't. Dead by Daylight? Dead by Daylight? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's number 19. And then Hearts of Iron 4, which was 23. Let's look at what Unturned is. It's a free-to-play game. You're a survivor in a zombie-infested ruins of society and must work with your friends and forge alliances to remain among the living. Is this like a Rust-style super easy? Is this being played because kids are at school right now? And they could play this on their their school devices. Is that what this is? Is that why this is happening? <laughs> I just kind of want to revisit this. Every month, I'm going to see about maybe getting some friends to come in and talk about it. Because I don't play all the new games. I have other friends that play other games. And so it'd be nice to get more information on, like, Destiny 2. I could have my friend DZ come on. I have my friend Starving Rider playing Elden Ring. He could come on and he could talk about that. It'd be nice to have some other people come on with me and just do a quick video on the Steam charts, where everything's are at, and the games that they're playing that are aligned on the Steam charts. Maybe I'll have some guests. Let's not say that that's going to happen, but I'm going to talk to them and see about uh, possibly getting them to come on and uh, talk some Steam charts with us. Hope everybody enjoyed that quick look at Steam charts. Kind of have your staples. We got some new things kind of moving in and out. We're going to just kind of look at the trends over the next few months. I will talk to everybody later, and peace.